Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for Tractors. Today you join us here at our Class UK headquarters in sunny Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at our different drive mode settings that we can make on our CIS Plus machines with a C-Matic transmission. So you now join me up in the cab of our CIS Plus C-Matic machine, looking at some of the settings that we can make in relation to our transmission. So what about drive modes? What different modes do we have available to us and what settings can we change in relation to them? Well, on our C-Matic machines, regardless of whether it is a CIS Plus machine in this case or a higher spec CBUS machine, we have three drive modes available to us. Firstly, we have our automatic mode, which you can see from the symbol on the top right hand side of our screen we're actually in at the minute. So what happens in our auto mode? Well essentially we have our acceleration and deceleration of the machine available to us on the foot throttle of the machine. Our drive stick then on the armrest is responsible for essentially an engine braking effect. So by pulling the drive stick back when we are maybe going down a hill with a trailer on for example, this will engage an engine braking effect through the transmission. The next drive mode we have available to us is drive stick mode. The way we would change between automatic and drive stick is by using the mode button on the armrest that you can see here, our orange gear symbol button on the armrest. We press this and we can cycle between these two different modes. So our drive stick mode is a little bit different. Essentially, we now have control of our acceleration and deceleration of the machine on the drive stick on the armrest. So for field conditions, for example, maybe when cultivating or drilling, we can now use our drive stick to control the speed of the machine. But seamlessly, if we wanted to then go on the road and switch back to using our foot throttle, without pressing any buttons, we can now move across to our accelerator pedal again for using that for acceleration and deceleration as well. So quite a nice little feature there. The last mode we have available to us is only activatable through our transmission menu. So by coming into our menus, we see we have our transmission menu here on the left hand side, annotated by the cog. We pop into that and we have a dedicated mode menu you can see over to the right. By coming in there we have our three different modes you can see. So firstly our automatic, secondly our uh, manual mode which I'll tell you about in a minute and lastly then that drive stick mode which I just explained to you. So the manual mode which we can again only turn on through our screen essentially gives us RPM of the engine control on the foot throttle and then subsequently forward speed of the machine controlled by the drive stick on the armrest. So a little bit more basic, a little bit more manual, but again, nevertheless, still available to us if we so need. So thank you for watching everyone. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.